Hello, my name is Julian. I'm an astrologer, and today I want to talk about the aspect of Mercury in Sagittarius coming to form a third quarter square to Saturn in Pisces. The gist of this aspect is the presence of a spiritual authority that might be feeling as though it is blocking our expression of truth. Let me break this down a little bit further. The third quarter square aspect is the reflection of a choice that is being pushed. We are being pushed to make a choice. And the nature of this choice is about what we believe to be true. This is, you know, speaking to a third quarter square, excuse me, square in general. We within the third quarter square have already been through almost an entire cycle of developing something, taking it from nothing to something. And by the time we're at the third quarter square, which is the basically the third gate out of four gates, um, by the time we're at the third quarter square, we've already seen it in its full expression and now we are realizing that we will have to start a new cycle with this pretty soon. And therefore, we need to start to universalize. We need to let go of the audience that we have been speaking to with this idea. We need to let go of the purpose of the content that we've been developing. And we need to thrust it into kind of a brand new world. This is about not letting go or abandoning your idea, but opening up your idea, your purpose, whatever you've been working on, opening it, opening it up and saying, oh, maybe this can reach more people or a different audience than I had originally intended. Let me, let me do that. Let me explore how to do that without needing to change the content itself. It's almost like liberating, liberating a content, liberating an intention even more than, than you knew that it needed to be. This call for liberation often comes out of an immense amount of tension, frustration, and anxiety. That's just the nature of a square because there are contradictory um, authorities happening. There's contradictory pressures being put. And in this specific case of Mercury in its third quarter square to Saturn, Saturn in Pisces is a somewhat contradictory authority to Mercury in Sagittarius. Mercury in Sagittarius is a very powerful reflective signature, a propon proponent for free speech, specifically for um, free speech around things that might not be necessarily provable, like beliefs like uh, freedom itself. <laughs> um, with Mercury and Sagittarius, we are really speaking off the cuff and we're speaking freely without concern for um, whether or not it actually um, is something we can logically defend universally, if that makes sense. Saturn in Pisces is about 
being an authority in a boundless society. It is in many ways just like a spiritual authority. It is a creative authority. It is a um, the authority of imagination. So these two signatures are kind of thematically similar if you're picking up where I'm going here. There is a confusion between whether or not we should be um, trusting what we are hearing and trusting what we're saying because of the fact that it's not provable. Sagittarius is about beliefs. It doesn't really care whether or not you can logically line up the evidence. It's about speaking from a place of belief and from a place of freedom to do whatever really you want. Saturn in Pisces, on the other hand, is about this weird desire to put limits on something that is actually limitless. Um, in other interpretations, Saturn in Pisces is also about there being a, a structure to boundlessness. <laughs> there being some, um, this, you know, is a good example of there being hierarchies in a spiritual practice or levels or a masterfulness or a discipline, a spiritual discipline ship. That's a very Saturn and Pisces signature. But going back to the square, there is, there's just an inherent contradiction here because we are speaking freely. We are wanting to be able to communicate our minds and converse about our beliefs. Um, the spiritual authority is saying, are you sure? Are you really, really sure about what you're saying? And do you know the implications of what you're saying? The spiritual authority isn't saying, shut up and never talk again. It's saying, I'm gonna put a whole lot of pressure on your consciousness to have you discern why you're doing this, why it's important that you speak off the cuff in this way or that you speak freely this way. This eventually wants us to, as I said in the beginning, universalize, grow in the purpose and grow in compassion for how the words we are speaking always carry the beliefs that we hold. And so instead of only wanting to speak to one certain audience, we are being pushed by this spiritual authority, perhaps it's our own moral compass coming down on us and saying, do I really believe in what I'm saying? How can I push myself? How can I challenge myself intellectually to speak and also listen with a more universalized and compassionate perspective. And this square, it'll just be tension, 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 tension. And we can try to tune it out um, and just kind of disassociate from it by not trying to engage our minds. In fact, Pisces is a very dissociative sign and it can be very confusing <laughs> to be in anyone's mind right now. But if you give yourself time and space to work with your beliefs, in no way am I saying you will come to a coherent belief system right now or that you should, but there might be a gem somewhere in the, in the grinding, the refinement that these pressures are pushing us towards. 
To finish this, I will say some significant things between these two planets alone in this next week and over the next few weeks is that this very Mercury is in shadow, which means in, by the end of this month, it will be moving retrograde. It will be going past this, this square one more time and actually two more times. And so this is not the first time we are going to be pushed into refining our belief systems, how we articulate it within a, a, a spiritual structure or a moral spiritual authority that we are feeling is weighing on us. Not only that, but right this week, Saturn is also switching directions, going direct. Saturn's in a very powerful position right now as it is basically not moving. In the, you know, few weeks that it's right before it stations retrograde and as it stations direct, um, I'm sorry, right after it finishes retrograde and is about to station direct, it's not moving in the sky. So it's kind of pulling in a lot of power. This spiritual authority that is weighing on us, we've been in a really reflective time with it over the last several months. Saturn stationing direct in the you know week of this square to Mercury says, it's time to articulate a first try of your beliefs in the face of all of the internal spiritual work around what morality is, what your highest creative authority is. Um, attempt to speak about it, do some writing about it, you know, um, this is a really good way to engage this and not let it frustrate you and cloud other important communications. There's something that Saturn wants us to offer in a direct way now, in an external way now. So let me know what you think. Um, I will be breaking down many more transits this week especially Mercury transits. We have Jupiter coming in the mix, Mercury opposing Jupiter, uh, as well as a full moon, as well as Venus entering Capricorn and scoring the nodes. So check them out as they come. I have also updated my one-on-one -on -one read reading availability from the 12th to the 19th of November or the 18th. So you can take a look at that on my website if you'd like to have a session with me. And that is all for now. Enjoy the week ahead and see you very soon. Bye.